think I freaking burnt it. Crazy. I'm about to slap some freaking butter on this and call it a day. I made this candle. Woo! At 18, I could have done that and taken a care of a three-year-old, four-year-old. That's more than I can do. <laughs> yeah, that's what's to me. Welcome back to a new vlog. This, it, we're starting off strong with the sourdough, sourdough series. Wait, what are we calling this? The sourdough series, the sourdough saga, the sourdough. Okay, I'm not gonna give a recipe or do a step-by-step -step until I feel confident in what I'm doing. The only confidence I have is the confidence I have just in myself at all times. And Nothing here. No, I'm not seeing this one yet. So this one, I really, 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 really tried to follow the instructions to a T. And she looks, you guys, She's supposed to be like doubled and fluffy and... So when do you bake it today? Yeah, right now. Split, I can split and go. Okay. So this is good. This is gonna be able to be too low. I can do the cinnamon sugar. Or the you cinnamon. You can do whatever you want. Oh my God. So now you have to pop it. I pop it? Don't you put your nasty little hands on my bread. <laughs> She, I don't, I've not seen her drink out of that. Oh, we got a new water thing for the cats and dogs. What it, fountain, water fountain? Jug, water, water fountain. system for the animals. Weasley, Weasley has, has so much beef with, with it. it. Like he, hey, he comes in with his head, head butts it until it falls over. Ooh. Myrtle's getting in that. Luna just came, like what? It's, they can't handle it. It's as soon as the camera comes on. Okay, so anyway, look at this guys. Look at this. So this is, made from my very own starter. So this starter is probably like three weeks old now or, or more than that. More than that, I'd say probably a month. Yeah, it's, it's probably a month old now. But I got this fancy little starter jar. So this, on this side, I'll link all, oh my gosh, am I gonna have a sourdough section on my Amazon shop? Okay, so this is a sourdough jar. This, on this side, it tells you like what the temperature is in the room because apparently that does have um, some, I'm not there yet. I don't really understand the temperature, but it's, we'll so just, say. yeah, so they say. So we got Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then on this side, this is the, is it liter, milliliters? This is the milliliters, so like the measurements of how, in, how much you have in here. But then, this is my favorite part. And this is why I went with this one. Last fed on, I uh, last fed it on Wednesday at like 7 p.m. So then you just move it the next time you freaking feed it and it's this line. So Friday, if you feed it at noon, boom. Look how cute. It also comes, it comes with the linen top and the regular lid that screws all the way on and this freaking silicone scraper. This has been, obviously you don't need any of this stuff, but it just enhanced, I was using a spoon and it was fine. My spoon is, it, it, it was fine. It's so much better. Oh my God, it's so cool. Okay, so I got that. I also got a bread set, but we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. We're not we're not there yet. Cleaned the countertops. Okay, this is what's called full rise. She should just like fall out on her own. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> You can get flour or water on your hand, but I like to do flour to just keep from being like super sticky. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it like kind of into itself a few times and then split the loaf. This is just so fun, I can't even tell you guys. I'm literally just smiling while I'm doing it. Like, it's so fun. Oh, I could do this for hours. Oh my God. Okay, she's still bubbly right now. What does that mean? Is that good? I also, last time I overdid this, so maybe I should stop. Maybe I should stop. We'll just get her in a nice little. Okay. Is she ready to be split? Is she ready to be split? Is she ready to be split? There's still a lot of like air bubbles in her. I feel like, sh should I look up how I get those out? Or do I just need to let it sit for a second? 
She is cute. There are still just so many air bubbles. Okay, let me look up what that means. Go from there. Whoa, this is so fun. I can't stop. Pretty. Like, do you just see how pretty that is? I'm gonna get so good at decorating them. We're about to make so many different recipes, you guys. Okay, I guess we'll just go right down the middle. This feels wrong. This feels so wrong. Okay, we'll sit her. So this one's gonna be my normal loaf. I'm just gonna stretch and fold a few times. Myrtle's got the zoomies and sometimes she forgets how big she is. Yeah, you almost knocked the whole plan over, honey. Okay, I think I've decided that I'm gonna let it, it was gonna go kind of in the oven right after this, but I think I'm gonna let it sit in here for like maybe another hour-ish. No, there just weren't this, there's like big bubbles that are right, and I don't want it to be too bubbly inside the bread. You know what I mean? So. We're just gonna let her chill for a second. Then, I think I'm just gonna be crazy. You know, at the end of the day, my big three are Aquarius, Leo, Libra. So I just do think very highly of myself and I really think that I can, I can just hit the ground running with this. I'm gonna go ahead and adapt a recipe. And this recipe, I honestly don't even know if I have all the ingredients, but any version of it will be good. I saw it on TikTok, I'll link it below. And I quite literally haven't even pulled it up yet, so I don't remember what it's called. But it was some sort of like brown sugar cinnamon sourdough situation. And the way they did it, it was like a swirl. So I think we're gonna try that for this one. Okay, step one was to kind of like lay it out. I hope that this is like laid out enough. And then it said to add as much brown sugar and cinnamon as you'd like. Don't leave that up to me, please. Do not leave that up to me. Do not leave that up to me. Okay, then she folds one side in and does more. And then we repeat, okay. Okay, then she takes it and she does fold it into each other. <laughs> I can't believe there's cinnamon and brown sugar in here. That's the most fun thing I've heard all day. We're gonna put her in this one. She's an angel. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so cute. Me and that soda. Okay, I'm gonna let her sit for two hours, just like this. I think I freaking burnt it. It has been several, several hours now. Got her in and out. Um, when I when I brought it out, I did this once on the bread and it was hard as a rock and I said, I don't, I don't have time for this. And I went back to editing. So I've been editing for about four hours now and it's time for like me to start making dinner and now I need, I need, I need to, I need to see what the tea is with this girl. I just, you know, maybe it was the paper that was, why did I even put this paper down? I don't even think that I needed this. I didn't use it last time and it was fun. That feels pretty nice actually. How am I gonna get this paper off is the thing. Did, that, did the paper cook onto this? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Perfect. So that is what happened. Love that for me. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, well, we're never using this paper again, obviously. What if it's perfect other than that? I guess I'll just cut it all off. There we go. Okay, I can't be losing track of where the paper is. Let's cut her, I guess. I will get the paper off if it's edible. If it's not edible, not gonna waste my time. Are you supposed to wait until they're completely cooled before you open them up? Okay, let me just wait till she's completely. Okay, I'm back. That wasn't very long. She's right here. I am starting dinner. I'm kind of nervous, you guys. I'm kind of a little bit nervy. Annika is going to her first 
concert downtown, event downtown by herself. I mean, to me, she feels like 11 years old, always. Like she just feels like a kid to me, but I have to remind myself and it is important, parents, it's important for us to remind ourselves to put ourselves at their age. Like I was doing, I was going to concerts with my friends at 17. What do you mean? Like, that's okay, that's normal. She's making memories and having fun. But it is nerve wrecking. Like I, Having a beautiful teenage daughter. I just, I want to, I want to follow her. <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's voices that will be passing that are looking at her for a little bit too long. And I'm like, she's 17. <sighs> so I am making her, her and her friend Ella are going together. So they're coming here after work. They work together as well. They're coming here and getting ready, eating dinner, and Annika's mom's cooking and going to a concert. Now that's not just the cutest shit you've ever heard. So they picked pork chops for tonight. I've had these marinating for, I, I marinated them with just some mores, some mores. It's just like a marinate sauce. I threw it away. That was the last time that I'd show you. A little bit of teriyaki, a little bit of soy sauce, and then a lot of seasonings. I think I'm gonna put some more actually on them. Okay, and I am just gonna pour the marinade at the bottom of this so they can cook in it as well. Okay, these are now gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see. Next up, I'm going to do some Brussels sprouts. I hope this bowl is big enough. For these, I'm just doing a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and honey. The pre-concert fuel. All right, let's go take it to the ladies. Hey besties. Hey Jay, where do you want this? You're so cute. cute. Where do you want it? They're both the same. Here, you can oh go ahead and start eating. Thank you. This looks so good. You guys getting ready? You're not. We're staying here, girl. We're staying here. We're staying here. It's time. I've put it off long enough. It doesn't feel great on the outside. Are you coming to judge? Nope. Oh. Oh. That's crunchy. It's... Hey, hey, hey. I'll try it. Okay, let's see it. We can't say it's under. Uh, Where the heck is the swirl? One it. little measly swirl. I was expecting drama. It's, yeah, it's cinnamon brown sugar. Now, I also want to point out that I did bake some paper on the bottom of it. So we will not be eating the bottom, but we can try a slice. It is sourdough. Yeah. It's just, but did but you it's, add the cinnamon? Yeah, I added okay. cinnamon. I thought it was just like yeah. plain sourdough. That one's in the oven now. I've got a plain sourdough. But she looks good. Look at that. Oh my God, I gotta take a picture of it. Look at this. I'm not even putting any bread or any, or <laughs> I'm not even putting any butter or toast in it or anything. I'm just going right in. It's still kind of warm. It's so good. I just want to put more cinnamon and more sugar. Mm. Like I made this. This is great. Okay, two things I did learn from this. You have to score kind of as soon as you get it ready to, because I let both of them sit and they didn't score as easily as like when you first have them ready. The zebra did not do too great for this. And then I wonder how she got, she had so many swirls. I'll have to do, let's see how many, it looks, it kind of looks like all of mine ended up like at the top. Do you know what I mean? Like this is all, I don't know, but it is a nice swirl. Oh, I made a freaking sourdough loaf. Like that, that is so cool. Okay. I'm kind of proud, Lucky. I already know how I feel about this part of the night. It's the best part. Getting ready for your friend. Hand sanitizer. Should you have a car for you? That's up to Drake. <laughs> That's not in our hands. <laughs> okay, it's, you know, it's not, you know the rules. Mm -hmm. uh, the rules we'll are, talk. you keep me updated. All the time. Every time, I mean, it's, it's a wonder I'm not telling you to tell me each song you play in. Like, mm -hmm. keep me updated everything you do. Don't talk to any boys. Even if they're cute in your age. Oh, well, this is what we were chatting about, <laughs> is that I haven't gone out with a girl my age. I know. Maybe ever. I know. The last time I would have, I didn't have a driver's license. So, I know. hey vlog. Couldn't tell you what we're gonna get into tonight. 
Hey vlog. I can tell y'all y'all gonna go to a concert and y'all gonna come home. I'm okay with that. <laughs> We're gonna do that, what we do in the middle. <laughs> Can y'all believe? I never thought I'd see the day where my daughter was going to a drag concert. And Without I, you, I know, that's it? crazy. I, you know, I offered to take her guys. I don't also. know what. I was just like listening to my intuition, and I was like, I'm okay. And I just like, I, I, then I need to sit this. Ooh. He's not okay about it. He he does get very sad when he, she's leaving, and he knows that she's leaving. But you know, I've seen him like ten times, and I have been close. Not not like this close before, but I, I'm I'm not. She's I don't trying. have FOMO. I don't have FOMO. Who knows, maybe he watches step. vlogs. I don't need to not do this again. Like next time I'll be prepared. But I just like wasn't, like I saw my day and it wasn't in my day and I was just like, you know what I mean? That sounds like a 30 year old. It does because I just thinking about getting home uh, after midnight tonight, that just would ruin my tomorrow too. And I can't, I can't be well, off the to commission work tomorrow. She has to go to school and work Yeah, but y'all have a thing that I don't, it's called stamina. At 18, I could have done that and taken the care of a three year old, four year old. That's more than I can do. <laughs> yeah, that's what's to me, so. <laughs> All right. Okay, have fun. Seriously, be so safe. Um, I'm going to the parking lot garage. garage. Okay. We already got Get our in tickets. In the parking garage. Yes, we already got them. Put them on your Apple wallet. Wait, where is... Add them to your Apple wallet. Uh, they're already in my Apple wallet. I just need to figure you out You should the... be able to enter. You won't have entered this way before. You should be in able to enter garage. from the garage. It's right across from that. It's right where we were standing. You know where your car was parked mm -hmm. for this this past weekend? Directly across from that, where that big drawing of the oh, Nash was. That's yes. where you entered, right there. Okay. So you're gonna go like you're going to the What's one. This one? Yeah. Wait, that's pinnacle? Okay, that's at a different lot then. So you are gonna have to walk a couple blocks. It's two. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We can get our steps in. Don't we shut our steps don't in. shortcut through that park. Just stay on the sidewalks. Yeah. I'm gonna hey, be we'll be good. Oh, you will. So he wants to go so bad. You want to come see Drake? He what? wants to go so bad. You can come. Come by. Hi, besties. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I brought the second loaf out after I made it. Immediately noticed something was off. Uh, cut her open and I severely overcooked her. So I threw it away and immediately started another batch. It's been a few days and here we are. You know, something about me is I take lessons and I learn them. And I don't have to learn again. And I don't have to learn again. Look at this. Look how gorgeous she is. I think that I've got the timing and like the degree of the oven and everything figured out at this point. My oven is like a 400. I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not preheating my pan first. If I should be doing that, let me know. But it just, something feels off to me about that. Like throwing in just dough on a 450 degree pan. So I've just been putting the pan and the everything in there. 450 for about 50 minutes in my oven. And so let's crack her open and see it's a little heart scoring in the listen to those crunches oh my gosh okay let's get into it right down the middle or should we should we be normal and start up right down the middle i'm still like a newbie and i don't want to break the heart like right in half so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it kind of over here You know you do feel it better than everybody else when you can make bread. I'm, I, I hate to be the one to say it. I wondered if you would, you know? Like I assume that people that have chickens also feel a little bit better than everybody else. Fair, fair, you know what I mean? I can make bread. I can make bread. Oh my gosh, she scored Gina. Wow, this one's a good one, you guys. Perfection, perfection. That's crazy. Okay. However, I couldn't stop with the cinnamon roll. I knew I could have done it better. I, I like as soon as I opened her up, I said, all right, I know what I have to do here. The cooking wasn't perfect on that one too. So I did, when I split this loaf, I said, we're gonna do another cinnamon sugar one. So this is brown sugar and cinnamon inside. Look at her. Look at her. Please be gorgeous. Please be gorgeous. Please be gorgeous. I'm hoping for some kind of like swirl. I'm hoping for a swirl of some sort. Okay, fine. I'm about to slap some freaking butter on this and call it a day. Oh my gosh. I have to have a piece right now. 
Okay, look at that. Oh my god, look, look at her. Literally look at this. I just got a notification that I had a package and I knew, make sure my bread's gone, that I hadn't ordered anything. It's from Elvis, you guys. I literally pinch myself every single time I get a package from them because how do they even know the A? And B, it's, I put it on my face, I put something Elvis on my face every single day. Oh my gosh, Annika's gonna love this. As much as I want to make this mine, Annika's gonna love this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at the blue color. How fun. Do I have dandruff? Don't tell me if I do. My favorite stuff in the world. My favorite, 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 favorite stuff in the world. I love this stuff. And this one specifically is has the SPF 30 in it. Love her. Oh my gosh, this is the soft, what a great size. Oh my gosh, the softness. And I can hang it on my hook in my, in my closet. Okay. Ooh, love these guys too. Love, love, love these guys. These two things though, I love these. I love these. Thank you so much, Elmas. Oh, it comes in a set now. The Collagen Health Starter Kit exclusively at Sephora. Oh, so that's what the stripes are for. How fun. Okay, you know me. If I would have waited one more second and read LMS, now at Sephora. Perfection. Wow. You know what? There's nothing like just a brand spanking new one of these guys. Look at that. Look at that. You can just tell that's freaking hydrating and bouncy and just... Wonderful. This is like my favorite consistency of face moisturizers. Love. Again, thank you so much, Elvis. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Candles are one of the things in life that just truly, to my core, make me happy. I love lighting a candle. I love like a candle light. I love like no light with just the candles. I just love candles. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you remember last year, I decided I wanted to be a candle stick girly and start like collecting fun candle sticks. And so I got some pink candles to go in here and I wasn't gonna light them. And then I was like, wait, why am I not lighting these? So I lit it, it was, it's beautiful. And like now I like feel guilty and don't even wanna light the rest. So I'm hoping that that, um, we're about to run to Joann's. I'm hoping that Joann's has some more of these guys too. But in fun, like rediscovering my love for candles, because honestly, candles have been so expensive that I feel guilty as soon as I start burning a candle. I know that we've realized over the years that like candles aren't the best thing for your homes, especially your pets. I've started getting more pet safe candles and really trying to pay attention to the candles that I buy, but like candles are expensive. So it's like, I'm not even enjoying the burning process because I'm like panicked that I'm already burning the $60 candle and now it's gonna be gone and I just spent $60 on a candle. Like, what am I doing? I don't often spend $60 on candles. I'm just looking and I looked over at my living room one that I've got the last one that's discontinued wait let me let me show y'all this I believe it, I mean obviously we know the Capri Blue Volcano candle is my number one favorite scent but this right here this candle it's the best candle in the world and they literally discontinued of course this is why I like it it's sandalwood and citrus so it's by a brand called delirium and um, like I said it's sandalwood and citrus that's all it says on there but I used to get it from White's Mercantile. I was going in there and noticing they weren't having them. And so finally asked, I was like, hey, I've been looking for the delirium candles. Like, when is that gonna be back in stock? And they were like, oh, they discontinued that scent. And I was like, I mean, I audibly gasped. And she was like, but I think we have some in the back. Let me go look. And she got me two and I bought both of them. Now, I did let myself enjoy that first one when I got it. I was like, okay, we're, we did get this. Let's, let's enjoy it. That was like six months ago. And now we have this much left of this candle. I really haven't done like a deep dive on the internet to see if they're anywhere left, but it just, this one candle makes my entire house smell good. I think that's what I like so much about it is the intensity of it too. Is I light it, I keep it on the media center in our living room and like the living room, the kitchen, my office, over the, everywhere smells good from just this one candle. Okay. This is not gonna turn into a candle haul, but love Pet Safe ones. This one is Pet's Favorite. It's Clean Laundry. There's another one that's, I have a few I think listed in my Amazon shop under Pet Stuff. If not, let me know and I can add it. So I like these. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I technically don't know what makes them. Okay, we love their pets, but not their odors. That's why we created Pet Favorite. This candle makes your home smell great. It, it's long lasting. It's featuring premium fragrances and active ingredient that actually eliminates pet odors. Wait, so is this just pet? I 
thought, oh, this is soy. Before I start spouting off information, it looks like um, the reason you need pet safe candles is some candles release toxins when burnt, such as a lot of words that I, formaldehyde, oh my God. And obviously those aren't great to be just leaked into the air. What makes a candle pet friendly? Lead free wick. I would think that humans don't need that either. Natural wax, pet safe candles should be utilized with natural wax, such as soy wax, beeswax, or, okay, so this is soy wax and no irritating oils. So there's some essential oils that are just like no goes for pets. So I try to do candle oils and more fragrance oils and not essential oils, but I mean, if you don't have pets, essential oils, I'm assuming can work for candles anyway. Okay, so with that said, I've just like, I deprived myself of the happiness of candles. Again, that sounds dramatic, um, but I'm not depriving myself of the happiness of candles anymore. So I've decided to start making them myself. You guys, this was the first candle that I made. Look at her, look at this heart. I made this candle. You think I'm kidding, I'm not. I made this candle. Now, she does have like a little wave right here. You can't really super tell, but other than that, I mean, this is a perfect candle. This is a perfect candle. It was like a $3 candle from Target that Annika had emptied out and I was gonna clean it and she was gonna use it for like jewelry or something. And I was like, wait a second, I'm about to start making candles. Let me save that. And then I also did one more. Now, I did these not like a Jenica way. Um, I don't think that I did these the way that you're supposed to. In fact, I know that I did not. What I did is I put this on the eye of my stove, okay? I put this jar on the eye of my stove, put my little um, wicks down, okay? Got them all nice and straight. And I just started putting this uh, in there little by little and just stirring her around and then adding fragrance slowly. And let me tell you, it worked, it worked. I used, let me show you the fragrance oils I got. I used a combination of crisp morning air and orange blossom. So it just smells like a crisp morning with some orange juice. <laughs> it's so good, I love it. Okay, then I got bold and I was like, wait, ah, I just ran out of my Capri Blue candle. And I just so happened to know myself and know that I would want to try to match that scent pretty quickly. This was called Volcano Island. And in the parentheses, like it literally says like, like the brand or something. So I got it. It does smell, I mean, I, there's no Capri Blue besides Capri Blue Volcano, okay? But it smells pretty darn close. And you guys, this is a freaking anthropology big old candle. Now this one, this one I did use the same stove method and she's just bigger and it, she started kind of falling a little bit. So I did have to like light her and get her a little bit even, but I mean, that's more full than they film in the freaking store. And it, I mean, it smells like a Capri Blue Volcano candle. I get my hands on the one hotel scent. <laughs> it's over, okay. So I got all this stuff in. And the plan was to do it on the vlog, but I got it in and I couldn't even wait for it to open the vlog. And I was literally just like in my pajamas already and, and just did these two crazily on the stove. Like, sometimes I need to just stop and think about things. Anyway, so you see those flavors. These are the other two sensor flavors. Is this sensor flavors? Since this is definitely since cherry freaking almond baby. This one, this one did like leak a little bit, so all of them kind of smelled like that for a sec. Like the bottle smelled like that for a second. But this one, I think, is my I've not made a candle with it yet, but I, I think that's gonna be might be my favorite. And then I also got a strawberry cheesecake. This one's more of like an Annika vibe, and I was like, I can make her little like pink candles with this strawberry cheesecake. Okay, so now that I'm a professional candle maker. You know what, that was that was a bad joke because there are professional candle makers out there that are literally like, girl, take a seat. But now that I am a candle maker myself, I feel like I do need to get a couple more things. One of those things being a, um, like a tin that I can pour, like get wax hot in and then pour into things instead of continuing to put things on the stove. Um, I do have, these guys. So these go at the bottom of your wicks. I almost got wood wicks, but I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me learn with these first. These seem like a safer learning tool. And then we'll go for the wood wicks. Then I have, you guys know that I love to save um, really pretty candle containers for either makeup brushes or flower vases or things. And this one I was saving and I can use this one to make a candle. But before we do that, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any more containers cause I might wanna grab one or two at Joann's if they've got just like some cute little things like this, you know? Other than like a pour, I do need something to help keep the wicks in place. Um, there's a tool for that. I have just been using tape and it would just be nice to just have something that puts it in its place. So something to hold the wicks in place and a 
wax pouring container. So stainless steel wax pouring container and wick holder. Okay. dark our candles almost ready for this one I'm gonna do the strawberry cheesecake for AJ and then look how fun these are these were from Target and I've always saved them just because they're so cute they say pompous right here but I'll just turn them to where they want but they're just like concrete how fun oh there's some wax I just cleaned them they're a little wet but how fun and for these two I'm gonna do the cherry almonds okay so i'm gonna do them separately obviously they did not have the wax pours like out on the shelves they're still in boxes and she was like the only way you can get one of those before sometime this week is if you like place an online order i just this is basically the same thing except for it doesn't have the spout and the thing so i'm just gonna um i can't wait any longer i am an instant gratification type gal so i'm just gonna use this mold to pour as well listen um this sticker won't come off so I guess it's just gonna be in there. But like, it should work, right? It should work. We have our wick. We have our sticky. Put it on just like that. Okay, then we're gonna take this other side off and make sure it's dry. Okay, and then we just stick. It was wet, no. So you stick the wick in there. Now, I don't think that we have to put this on here yet, but we'll just go ahead and let her be standing up. Look how fun! Same thing for these guys. Oh my god, y'all, this is so fun. This is so fun. Next up. Now we're gonna fill this girl, probably like to like right here-ish with wax. Hmm, which one do we wanna do first? We'll do strawberry cheesecake first. Hey you guys. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I'm like a freaking chemist. I hope this is enough. It doesn't look like it's gonna be. <gasps> is it actually perfect? <laughs> I told you I'm a professional. Annika, you can talk and act like you're here. <laughs> I'm deep in this. I'm really proud. Ah, I'm look really how proud. cute. This one's yours. Oh yeah. Do you smell it? You don't smell that strawberry cheesecake? Come smell it. Mmm, that sounds, I haven't figured out kind of the portion. I can smell it now. Yeah, right? Yeah, it smells nice. It's for your room. Nice, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna, now that's empty. I'm gonna, I don't guess I have to wash it out. I'm going to do the cherry almond. Okay, it's the next morning. They're looking great. Okay, this is the one that I almost overfilled. <laughs> but it ended up turning out kind of perfect. So any other candle makers, okay. So with the Macapri Blue when it kind of did the same thing, this right here is just a tad, tad, I wanna get it where you can really see. You can just kind of see it's falling in a little bit. It's not doing it too bad on this one. And if this would have been the first one that I would have seen like drooping like this, I don't think I would have thought it was a problem, but the Capri Blue one was pretty bad. So I don't know how to keep the centers from kind of like sinking. This one's not too, this one's really not bad, but I just have noticed now in both sets that I've done that there's been like a little droopiness there. This one looks perfect. Look at that. Obviously we've still got to trim the wicks, you guys, but how much of a cat lady am I? All these like cat scratches. And then lastly, we have Annika's strawberry cheesecake. She's so cute. Let's trim these wicks. I just went to grab the scissors and I'm laughing so hard because as I turned around to grab the scissors, the kitchen scissors were right here. These are the office scissors that I went to grab, but I technically have also junk drawer scissors as well as oh i guess i should probably just use this this is literally a candle wick trimmer okay well the reason that you well obviously we know the reason that we trim this wick but the reason that you want to trim your wicks before you burn your candles a little bit is because it helps evenly burn okay oh you guys this one definitely needs to be shorter right guys look at my little babies look at them look at them 
These are so cute. And they smell fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and light AJ's so her room smells nice and good when she gets home from work. She is at work today. It's prom season, so she's probably gonna be at work most days. Gorgeous. And with candles, especially the first time you're burning them, you really wanna make sure that you have plenty of burn time for the first time so that it will burn full layer and try not to blow them out until that full layer is burning. We're gonna get every drop out of this. 